So at drive tanks, you'd think, you know, it's just kind of Texas boys out there blowing stuff up. That's not the case. I mean, this place is a, a fully functioning museum. But the beauty of it is it's a museum where there's not red ropes around everything that you can just look at, which isn't very interactive. You can actually get in them, touch them, feel them, and drive them. They've actually got a course set up for you to basically simulate what it would be like for these guys to drive this stuff. I mean, you're going over hills, you're gonna go into the water, there's explosives going on around you. It's a full, you know, overall sensory experience. You're kind of dealing with the elite of the elite. This is a former Green Beret and a former Iraqi war veteran. You don't get a more authentic experience than that. The, the one part of the course that got you to appreciate what these guys would have had to go through. Um, as we climbed this hill, they had simulated a pillbox where the, you know, the machine gun fire would have come and there's the, the flares going off that you could see, that you could hear it. And I'm thinking these poor buggers back then, they'd be heading towards live fire. That was the part of the simulation that really, with the gravity, uh, that hit home. The thing that I love about this place is that these guys are literally historians. They just do it a different way. The money earned at this business goes back to preserving history and allowing people to not forget history but be able to live it. Yeah, we want people to come have fun. You know, we don't want to minimize the fact that, hey, it's a blast to shoot machine guns and it's amazing the hair on the back of your neck stand up when you're driving a tank. But the, the historical aspect, I think, we don't want to lose because I think it's lost to some respect in schools these days. We don't teach the history of World War II or the Cold War as much. We move right into the new wars, but when you really think about what the true sacrifice of the wars back in World War II time period and things like that was really amazing because if you think about the Iraq wars and stuff, those were very, very hard fought wars, but our emphasis was on very little damages to our forces and that's a great thing. In World War II, whole companies went in and were wiped out, you know, and people, these guys knew for the most part when they joined they probably weren't going to come back. So this isn't just a U.S. military museum, you know, kind of beat our own drums sort of thing. It's, it's, it's more about the history of the world, right? They have British tanks, Russian tanks, German tanks, U.S. tanks. They have all different kinds of guns, anti-tank artillery, you know, basically anything you could want in kind of a world uh, museum. Get somebody interested in history, it's, it's great. Maybe they, we've given them a little spark to go read a history book. Well, it could literally be life changing. It could shape what you want to do. Yeah. You know, Spencer just had a guy the other day, he's dead set on going in and becoming a machine gunner in the military, whether it was the Marines or something like that. Well, he came out here and actually got to shoot a machine gun, but he also got to feel the weight of machine gun, and Spencer could tell him, you know, you're going to have to carry this around all the time. I told them, uh, you know, hey, just while it's unloaded, I cleared the weapon, go ahead and put it up here. Yeah. Walk around like that for 10 minutes, about 20 seconds in, he had to lower it. It's just something uh, <laughs> you, you realize real quickly, you know, once you see it, it's, it's not a video respect. game. The best experience at Drive Tanks for me was driving the tank. Um, as much as it's cool firing things, I went from, kind of for the first time in my life, pure adrenaline, meaning to the point where I felt ill about doing this, to pure elation, actually being able to do it. Going into this, um, I kind of secretly anticipated we're gonna go, there's a bunch of Texas yahoos there with the guns blazing and let's blow that up and blow that up and blow that up. But you know what, the thing I really respect about these guys is the fact that they're, they're not only uh, former military, but these guys have a full appreciation for the history of warfare. So they don't necessarily glorify it. I mean, shooting weapons is pretty cool, but they understand the impact. So they have everything from US tanks to British tanks to German warfare machinery, you know, military gear, bombs, weapons. It's, 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 if you didn't have enough just shooting and blowing up stuff, the, the history itself is well worth the drive.